Hey there, a new day, a new project. And if you remember, I got me a while ago a DV camera, a Medion. Very nice camera, by the way. It's more than 20 years old, but still running great. And of course, I couldn't stand it and I got another one. That, uh, that's a GVC GRD239E. The problem with this camera is sometimes, sometimes the screen is getting black and uh, okay, maybe, maybe it's overheating something anyway. It needs to be opened and checked, but, but the camera, it's working. So uh, all these purchases are not exactly for nothing. I know that a lot of people still have DV tapes, DV cassettes like this. And the problem is that the cameras are not working anymore. That needs to be uh, translated to the modern media. It's, it's difficult to have a capture of these digital tapes. It's, you know, it's data. It's only numbers on these tapes. Because most of the computers today, they don't have the right connectors. And I'm talking about having a Firewire card or a E-Link, how they call it in those times, or e IE1364 or something? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The story is that I'm using this sound card, the Sapphire Pro 40, in uh, conjunction with, um, with a Hammerfall HDSP9652 card. And, and you know, this, this combination, it's a killer one. I have in my desktop a Firewire card. <laughs> so, I can use that one to capture the recordings from these tapes. And of course, the first step is to... And here we go. Here I have an empty Firewire port. Okay. Why it's so difficult to have, you know, these wires connected? Wow. It's like digging in a hole, like working in the mine. And here we are, ready to roll the camera. Here I have the fire wire connector and we should have some. I'm used to plug it. And here we have the right port. I link, yes, let me see. I want to play it from the beginning and uh, here on this tape it's a good friend of mine, a very talented cello, 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 a talented cello player, musician and uh, we can start the record. Let's go. Super. So all I have to do now is to let the clip running and uh, we'll see at the end. Beautiful. Almost at the end of the tape, 54 minutes of capture without any dropped frames. This is so great. So uh, that means we have enough speed for transfer the data from the tapes. Okay, so we are at the end of the tape and everything stops. Now all we have to do is to we save this in AVI and of course we can play it from the beginning. I give commands from the software to the camera. I can rewind the tape and of course I have the clip right here. One hour, two minutes and 34. 
The point is that when you capture DV tapes, uh, you have to be patient enough because the capture it's going in real time. I mean, the image it's running on the camera in the same time with transmitting the data to the computer. So there is no way to make it faster. So uh, it's a kind of long process and uh, you need a lot of patience for that. That's how you can transfer DV tapes, digital video to a computer and eventually, you know, editing and all the other stuff. Thank you for now. I'll be back soon with some other. And uh, in the meantime, please like, please subscribe. And, you know, don't forget, have fun. Bye bye.